uh, we did talk about this film in the morning, but uh, we also kept some questions for the audience here. So the first question, like I was thinking, like you are in a sense, you are the fly in the soup, and you chose to be the fly on the wall. So how did you negotiate that space? What things did you have to do to be there on the wall? Uh, I think um, like why it's more of a fly on the wall and not really like in the soup, even though I'm shooting my own family, it's my own home, is uh, because I think the uh, the nature of concerns uh, that were there for me, like um, the space of the home, the gender, the relationship between my parents and the outside, I think uh, that the nature of those concerns was also actually quite silent for me. Uh, in a way that uh, I was doing my research on the side and I was reading narratives and all about the thematics that I was preoccupied by. Uh, but, you know, while shooting and uh, during the practice shoots and all of that, uh, I wouldn't um, really include myself or interview my parents because I just, uh, like, it just didn't feel natural to me or how I was, like, looking in that space. So uh, I think it became very clear to me uh, quite early on that uh, the language uh, of this film or the way I'm looking has to be very silent and quiet, which is why I think yeah, it's more of like a fly on the wall. Yeah. Another thing, uh, when I watched this film first time, it reminded me Alan King's A Married Couple. We spoke about it. It's, it's I, I know you don't believe in putting your film in a genre kind of a thing, cinema verite or whatever, but... Uh, being in that space also, uh, how do you kind of, like, especially when your uh, parents are having a conversation, like, the distancing, uh, because you are two people, it's not just you, but also the sound person is also there. So mm -hmm. how did you have to, like, you know, <laughs> execute it eventually? Like, how did you get to execute that is the thing? Okay, so... Um, to me, make yourself invisible in a sense. Yeah. So, uh, actually, uh, during the uh, the whole process of the making this film, which was, uh, you know, it's a, it's a two-year course uh, at SACAC. So, and uh, we were working on this film from the start. So, actually, uh, we had started uh, doing practice shoots as a way of also researching our subject or exploring it more quite early on. So I think my parents uh, did become comfortable with me in the camera at the home. And also because of the pandemic, uh, I mean, we did this course mostly in that uh, during the pandemic. So uh, we were also doing a lot of like exercise shots and everything at the home. So I think they became really comfortable with that. But having said that, uh, I think they were sort of uh, responding to the camera as well. I mean, not to say that they were completely natural or of course that when I would uh, switch off my camera, uh, they'd speak more or they'd just be there. But I think I let them have that. Like that's just their way of negotiating um, the camera in that space. So yeah, I think it was a bit of bother. They were also used to it, but also uh, there was a way that they were responding to the camera and like I wanted that. I wanted them to like have that sort of uh, space, yeah. About uh, sound, uh, as in like, there was a lot of emphasis on sound and especially music, Bollywood and things like that. I know that happens in every household. Like, how did you, when you edit it, like, how, what are the ways in which you thought, like, you know, you should keep this versus something else, you had it in your rushes? Mm. So sound, uh, I mean, I have to completely uh, credit my uh, mentors, uh, Ruchika Negi and Samira Jain. Because uh, during the editing stage, I mean, uh, there was a stage where, uh, uh, like, the sound, uh, like, it wasn't worked at. So the film did feel a bit, uh, it, it was dead a lot. So I think they really guided me in that process of first how to, uh, like, uh, map the perspective of sound. Like, how, uh, like, what are, uh, you know, being in a certain room, what are the perspectives of the street that you hear or sounds from the other room. But uh, there was also a lot of uh, then adding ambiences to it, keeping the perspective in mind, like not also trying to construct something which is very uh, artificial or not true to the space, because it is kind of like set in that uh, space uh, and that uh, home. And um, 
so yeah i think uh, and i was also recording a lot of sound uh, separately during the shoot keeping in mind like what would the soundscape of a home be so uh, and uh, like very like minor sounds like the ro system sort of like going in the kitchen or something very minor which for me became normal but also having to pick that part and record it and then use it uh, in that uh, edit in that way yeah. no no and uh, and yeah just the um, the bollywood songs and all yeah i think that was really interesting because i shot them actually uh, in three different uh, on three different days like watching the television and in one like some day they were watching a korean tv serial and then they were watching a so actually i had a, a lot to choose from in that sense but uh, yeah i think um, just like uh, that is a very part of their lives you know i mean they watch the tv every night like that's their routine i mean they have a set routine which i'm following so yeah so you had your script <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> because yeah that uh, i mean yeah just getting to observe something so closely and then preempting all the documentary moments also yeah so one last question before we open it yeah. for questions in the like so much of technology that you kind of bring into the layers of your film platform economy pubg games and things like do you want to comment like how that happened like why did you bring that into the film i know it is part of your household but also what does what do you want to kind of say through those images in the film mm. so uh, so the so many uh, screens that we see in the film i think uh, like uh, so what i was also looking at uh, with the people at the home uh, was also how they uh, uh, how they create a mini island for themselves like in the household you know the things they do uh, just alone by themselves like in their solitude and a lot of it involves screens like as it does for all of us so uh, so yeah i think it was just that and um, also like uh, with sapna my house help like she's so so like preoccupied with this pubg and uh, with like, everyone else it's different like with my mother i mean we don't really always see the screen she's looking at because she's you know in a distance and she's laughing by herself perhaps watching a youtube video or laughing at a whatsapp joke and uh, with my father's it's actually very loud what he's watching because it's loud on speaker and so uh, so yeah i think also looking at the different ways they are uh, just engaging with that screen also speaking a lot of how they also occupy the space at the house and uh, like also watching the news and the tv together so also that shared routine so yeah thank you anyone has any questions hi uh, so one doubt yeah. i had was um, how much of the movie was the original concept that you had written and how much of it was discovered on the edit table because it's more of a documentary style so you're just shooting a lot of footage and as it's happening so how much of it was discovered on the edit table and was it like very similar to your initial concept or did it evolve while you were editing it uh so uh during the shooting uh, like uh, so i had moments in my mind that i wanted to shoot because i knew their routine uh, and i knew their day pretty well so uh, i knew i wanted to shoot say the uh, the the morning when they have the tea together or when my mother is sitting alone and stitching so i had all of that but um, i think in the editing stage i also struggled with this a lot where it felt like oh i'm just oh is this just documentation is that what i've done and uh, i think yeah with the uh, with my mentors like guidance it was uh, a lot of uh, just watching the rushes uh, as it, they are like just uh, kind of uh, trying to pay attention to what the image is doing and speaking now that i have already shot and have maybe abandoned the concept that i already had in mind because uh, yeah i mean it would be very limiting if i had just done that uh, and then yeah and then just trying to construct it in that way that what happens if you know we see a series of objects after we see uh, the sequence of them being in the car and uh, yeah just using that image to create that narrative yeah 
सो एट वन पॉइंट योर मम से इज दैट ये स्टिचिंग हैंड स्टिचिंग मैंने अभी सीखा है मैं नोएडा में तो मैं और चीज़ों की फिक्र करती थी सो आई वॉज वेटिंग टू एक्चुअली गेट सम मोर क्लूज टू अंडरस्टैंड हैज देर बीन अ शिफ्ट इन देयर लाइफ स्टाइल और हैव देर मूव हाउसेज और वॉट हैज़ हैपन्ड एंड आई थॉट दैट वुड अनफोल्ड इन द फिल्म बट इट डिन सो बिकॉज योर हेयर आई एम आस्किंग so uh, so basically this home uh, so i have just uh, i mean when i was shooting i just shifted here like uh, maybe uh, one year back roughly so it was a new space for them basically uh, like when i started my course i recently shifted here in this house and we used to uh, live in noida before but it uh, so not and this is greater noida so not that big of a shift but big of a shift in the sense the architectural landscape like because uh, uh this was the first time that they were living in a high rise uh and uh also uh, the house setup is different like uh, earlier my dad used to be working but now that he's retired they're both in the house so the house setup and also um the architecture of the space around like looking at those buildings so i think yeah and when she's also talking about like having more free time i think she's just uh, yeah she's uh, saying that that you know like uh there with my dad not being there and uh, he'd been co- like the nature of his work was that he used to go off for 6 months and everything so uh, she do a lot of that kind of work you know paying the bills and all of that so just having more free time here <laughs> yeah ask her mm-hmm. on how like when you were moving spaces like space played a, a lot of Uh, important role here like i wanted to ask like how did you kind of take uh, like move from inside outside like you know you show the city and then you show the house of of course when you were going the car that was very obvious but otherwise also you cut from in, indoors to outdoors like what mm-hmm. what were you trying to do there so uh, i think uh, this being a new space for me as well i was also very curious about the outside like just uh, like seeing all these buildings and this small cell of windows outside so uh, and i was very curious about my relationship with it also because um there was like a distance uh, but there was also not just that i mean you know uh, there was also kind of like a yearning to know the city more or to know the surroundings more so i think i was also looking at it uh, and all the shots uh, except the car sequence all the outside that you see is from the standpoint of uh, my apartment so uh, so yeah i think just foregrounding that like my relationship and also um, i think outside when we see those buildings in the car i think that was uh, that really uh, for me represented uh, an aspiration for a home like you know how they're talking about uh, the allotment of the buildings like uh, because it was illegal so a lot of people didn't get allotment and all of that so so i think i was uh, yeah also engaging with um, this idea of you know like this this nuclear family and then building a home in that way and also seeing all these similar boxes and ideas of home all around yeah thank you any more questions i was uh, curious to know if there was any um, production design so to say that you have done in the film like putting things in a way that looks better for the camera because the, the reason i asked this question is in in, in the beginning of the film um, uh, the lady in the uh, frame was holding a cup that said indian film institute that yes. kind of threw me away and made me realize that i'm okay i'm watching a film that's made by a filmmaker so was that on purpose were there other things that you have done to make it look a certain way or was it just camera placement no so there was no production uh, it was just as it is and uh, yeah i mean i also noticed that uh, that she's holding at, like so it's, it's from a workshop that i had attended and i was also wondering what that is doing but yeah i mean otherwise it's uh, yeah no production just as it is yeah. uh thank you uh, i think, think we will have to conclude sorry yeah a lot of time and quoting scorsese here he said the most personal is the most creative thank you for making this personal uh, experience uh, a film and sharing with us thank you thank you thank you everyone